And then today we're so fortunate. We have, gosh, kind of like the king and queen of Grace Cathedral here is our stewardship testimony. Um, I, I was at an event on Saturday night. I, I said, I've got to introduce, I, I met a young woman who was from Nigeria. I wanted her so much to, to meet Toye. But um, we're so, so very lucky to have you to do our stewardship testimonial today. My name is Toye Moses. I have been a long time clergy member of Grace Cathedral. When I moved here in 1974, I immediately found Grace and became an acolyte. I have grown up in Nigeria, in Anglican Church in Lagos, Nigeria, where my father served as a deacon. In 1980, Alma and I were married and the disciple of nativity. As we celebrated our fourth fourth eighth anniversary in 2020, we received a beautiful prayer from our own very, very dear Malcolm Young. My name is Alma Robinson Moses. In Winston-Salem, North Carolina, where I grew up, I was baptized at Grace Presbyterian Church. I attended Sunday school and was a member of our youth group. Years later, when Toye invited me to Grace Cathedral, I was wide-eyed with wonder. The majesty of the building, illuminated with light streaming through the stained glass windows, never ceases to amaze me. I was blessed to be a choir mom for seven years, and that brought me to church for Thursday even songs, as well as Sunday morning services. I continue my service as an acolyte until the, until the pandemic. I have been honored to carry the cross in front of six deans. Our involvement became even more intense when our sons, Akintoye and Willie Ford, were enrolled in the Grace Cathedral School for Boys and sang in the choir. Additionally, three of our four children served with me as acolytes, as, as um, two daughters, Isabella and Toye, as Sister Alma with Sunday school services. I was here so much that I took the training to become a lector. After our sons went away to college, I joined the cathedral singers and became immersed in the glorious musical traditions of our church. I also began participating in the gatherings of grace, women, and community. All the while, we were giving to grace, not just to keep the lights on, and that's very important, but in order to support the wonderful clergy and staff who build the life of the beloved community that Bishop Mark so often refers to. Two weeks ago, Toye and I were inspired by our labyrinth for grace, the production of our artist in residence, Li Ming Wei, and I am still hearing his lesson. Go slow and listen to the rice. And just today, while listening to Dolores Huerta, I was reminded that I heard Cesar Chavez speak from this very same pulpit many decades ago. Our church's generous commitment to justice and to the arts has been unwavering. Our history with grace is long and deep, and our support is ongoing. The stewardship pledges from the congregation ensure that our beloved community continues to thrive. Please, think about the ways that Grace Cathedral anchors your spiritual life and consider pledging to the best of your ability. Thank you.